emailed me about the bleed lines in Photoshop. So if you already started your drawing, your uh, album cover in Photoshop, which you said you did, um, then I'm just gonna show you a few different things. The printer is not going to need any of these um, lines and words that say head front panel. The uh, chances are that a machine is probably going to be folding it all up and it's very precise anyways. So they don't really use any of those lines. That are those are just for you to know where to place things like place your spine copy between these two red lines here and just know that when they open it up, if you put somebody's face right in the center, it might get a little distorted from that fold. So, you know, it's those lines are for the, des the designer specifically. And then the bleed, the dotted line around the edge, um, that's what we're, we're focusing on mostly today, uh, is getting all of your colors and photos to go to that line. So once you have everything worked out here, then like I said, you can go ahead and just turn off the visibility of that layer. So all that stuff can go away. And then what I would do, since Illustrator is what's made for exporting files for printers, um, specifically for uh, like a printing press uh, or professional printers, it, that things are gonna be cut and folded and all that stuff, I would then save a Photoshop version of this document. And then I'd go over into Illustrator and I'd make a new document and then since I'm not exactly sure what the dimensions are, I know that it's like a 12 by 12 approximate file. So I'm just gonna put in 24 inches by 24 inches with one artboard um, and not worry about the bleeds yet and hit create. Then from there, I can go ahead and bring that template um, in. So I'll go file, place, and then I will go find that template. I think I have it in my downloads. Yeah, there it is, okay. And then if I just click once and drop it, it'll drop it at the exact scale that the template is. So from there, I'm gonna line up the corner of top, the top uh, left corner of my artboard to that template. And then I'm just gonna zoom in to make sure that it's right on the line there. And that looks good to me. So then from there, I'll zoom out and I'll use my artboard tool right here to then grab the bottom right corner and grab and get it, extend it to that other uh, lower corner. So up here in my navigator, I can just click on the corner to um, see if I'm lined up right. And you can use your zoom tools to get it even more precise. But since for the sake of the demo and time, I'm just doing it kind of quickly. There. So now I know that my trim line is the same size as my artboard, okay? From there, I can go to File, document setup, and I can add my bleed here. So I have this linked um, icon checked and I'm just gonna give it an eighth inch bleed. That's usually what it normally is. If you're concerned about that, you can also give it a quarter inch bleed and then you'll be totally covered. But, um, but uh, stop calling me, sorry. <laughs> but an eighth inch bleed is gonna cover it. So I'm gonna hit okay at an eighth inch. And then I notice that the dotted line that's around it from the template now has a solid red line over it because that's actually my document's bleed line. So if I was to turn off the visibility of this layer here, then I can still see that my bleed line is exactly where that dotted line is supposed to be. Do you see that there? So don't sweat it about this part right here, this little tab that goes over. They don't usually print on that anyway. They just have it there so that you know that that's the part where it's gonna get folded over and glued under that other side when they make that little envelope for the record to slide into. But you don't have to put any design on there, okay? So don't worry about that extra piece hanging out there. So from there, I'm gonna file place my Photoshop file that I made over here, that you already made too, so you don't have to redo your whole entire design. And I'm just gonna click on the top corner of my bleed because I did include bleeds in that file. And there you go, all right? So you can zoom way in. This is the you know zoom tool, click on there and just make sure that you're lined up to your bleed. And then you can go over to your other corner. That looks good. Go to your bottom corner. Everything looks good. There you go, okay? So from there, so because I saved that Photoshop file with the visibility turned off of the template, now I don't have to worry about um, 
all those lines getting printed because they will get printed and that's worse than anything, right? So <laughs> I just added the little bottom thing here just so you could see that that's the, that was, you know, from that document. So from there, that's when you go through the export, I'm sorry, the file save as, save to your computer, um, choose a PDF, go through that. From there, you do the uh, PDFX 2008, choose marks and bleeds, all printer marks, and use document bleeds, and hit save PDF, okay? So that's if you were to export it from, photo, from Illustrator, which I always recommend doing, okay? Photoshop is okay, and there's a way to do it, and I'm gonna link to this video that this guy made. It's pretty good, um, and it's very quick, <coughs> excuse me, and you don't have to leave Photoshop at all. So I'm okay if you wanna turn in this version of it, I just want to let you know for the future, though, that a printer might be like, what are you doing? You need to export this from, in, from Illustrator or from InDesign, okay? So um, just a heads up. <laughs> Try to do it from Illustrator if you can. Like, learn this method. Uh, and, um, yeah, so I hope this is helpful, okay? Yeah, let me know if it's not. <laughs> All right, have a good weekend.